Hey everybody, welcome to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron, and today we're adding something to our cooking arsenal. We've teamed up with the guys at theoutdoorstore.co, and this is what we got. That's right, the El Charo Rotisserie Grill. We're gonna show you guys how to put this together, show you what it's all about. Stay tuned. All right, this isn't gonna be a normal unboxing. We will pull this out of the box. We will show you what's in it, but we're gonna put this thing together. So if you have any issues, if you're interested in one of these, you wanna see what they look like, or if you bought one, you wanna know how to put it together, we're gonna to show you how to do that now. So we'll get this thing pulled out, show you guys what it's all about. So as you can see, this thing is very well packed has a clamshell that goes over the entire unit. Each one of these pieces are in, a, in part of that clamshell. Man, you shouldn't have any problems with the shipping and no damage there. So we'll get this thing undone and show you guys what's in it. All right, as you can see what comes in this, got three plates, two legs, also has six skewers. More like a sword if you really look at it. It also has the power control and an extension cord plus the main unit. One thing I wanted to point out about this main unit, if you look at the El Charo that's on here, on the front of this, it looks like a sticker, but it's actually not a sticker. It is a piece of protective coating on the top of that, on the top of that writing. So that has to come off. If you, if you don't take that off, you're gonna have some discoloration there, and it's gonna look like a discolored sticker. So you gotta make sure you take that off. Now. It does look like a sticker and it looks like you're gonna ruin it, but you won't. It's just a protective sticker over the top of that paint. So we're gonna remove that now so we don't forget about it. Cause once you put heat to that, you're not gonna get it off. So we're gonna get that taken off now so you can see. So I'll bring you in and let you look. So as you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. It looks like it has an outline here. That is not just a sticker stuck on there. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna take that protective coating off of there. It's just a really, really thin piece of protective covering. So get that off. If you get fire to it, you won't be able to get that off of there. So just a quick tip for you guys. All right, also comes with everything that you need to put it together. It has the instruction manual. Actually, even comes with an Allen wrench, make it easy on you. So you don't have to go dig one of those out. And it comes with the set screws to hold the end for it. So, We'll get this set up, and bring you guys in. Let's see how we do it. So, if you look at the side of these, if you look at the side of these, they have marks. These marks on the side of these rails are so you can adjust it to fit any of your barbecues. So, it has a set screw in the top of here that we're gonna screw in tight. These marks let you allow it to, okay, I need to go out a couple inches for my barbecue that it fits, or go in a couple of inches for the barbecue that I have. Or if you need to, if you don't have enough adjustment room, whatever you need to do to make sure that it fits the barbecue that you're there. So it gives you on the top and the bottom, so you make sure that you have a good even side to side measurement on that. So we just take these, these two here, so this one in the top, this one in the bottom, back off this set screw here, and then we just slide these in. And like I said, if you have a short barbecue, you can put them all the way in. If you have a long barbecue, you can put them at the last setting there, and then just tighten these up. Add the other side in. As you see here, I mean, it just slides right in. All you gotta do is make sure that those set screws are backed off enough for it to slide in. And then of course, tighten them up enough where it does snug. You don't wanna over tighten those set screws because you don't wanna bend the rail. Then we'll just take this supplied Allen wrench here, tighten them up. And again, just snug them up until they're tight. You don't wanna put that 800 pound gorilla turn on there, because then you'll have some issues. These, pretty simple to do. All you're gonna do is take these, you see some slots here on the side, put this in, pull it apart a little bit, just slide it down. There you go, it's in there. That's gonna be your skewer holder at the bottom. Same thing with this piece here, just put it in, kind of spread it out just a little bit. You're gonna take your slide in, and 
slides right in, click it down. Then you have your top piece. You're going to take this top piece. Again, it has slots at the top. There you go. Done. Now you have your skewers. The skewers, they sent, they sent you six of these. You have six slots. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna see how long do I need to have these. So we'll stick them in. Again, we have it at the longest setting. So we have it at just about the right, right length as it is. If you need to adjust it, as you can see right here on the end, it has an Allen wrench. You can take the, your Allen wrench, trusty little Allen wrench that they sent with you. Unscrew that, then you slide that however way you want to slide it, back and forth there. We're going to put it back where it was, that's about where we need it, just to be able to put this thing together. All right. Then they sent you the ends. The ends, all they're going to do is slide on, as you can see there, slide on. Again, they have a set screw, we're going to take that set screw, take that Allen wrench, and then we're just gonna snug all those down. So, one thing I did want to point out when you put these ends on, one side has a flat spot. So you have one set screw on this side, the other set screw will be opposite on the other side. So you'll just slide that on, just like that, and then tighten up your set screw. There you go, and that set screw will disappear down in there. That's when you know you got it tight. It's on there good. So we got six of these to do. So we'll get all six of these put together and then we'll bring you guys back. See you in a minute. All right, we got it all put together. All the heavy lifting is done and realistically, it only took about seven minutes to put this thing together. And I tell you, it, it is a nice, well thought out, well put together machine. They thought of just about everything. They put your link lines here on the top and on the bottom so you can adjust it for, for your grill. They have set screws on just about everything. They even included not only this, the, the Allen wrench to put this thing together, but they also included three extra set screws. So if you're doing something with your, with your set screw and you end up losing one, you got three extra ones. So keep these together with your, your Allen wrench. So if you ever have any issues or need any adjustment, you have those. So we have it put together. Let's show you how to power this thing up. All right, again with this unit, they sent you the power controller. You'll see that it has El Charo written on it. This is your AC adapter. Basically adapts you from either 120 volts or it even, even overseas, if you're watching this overseas, it goes from 100 to 240 volts and it'll adapt it down to a 12 volt output. So this thing is running on a low voltage, 12 volt. And they also send you this extension cord. As you can tell, this cord is wrapped in a fire rated material. You don't want to put the control unit directly over a fire. Will it kill it? Eh, I guess only time will tell. But this does keep your wires safe from that heat that comes out from underneath this. So this is wrapped with the, with the fireproof, fire retardant wire wrap, and so is your extension cord. Again, your extension cord will either just go into here, just plugs right in, or if you don't need the extension cord, you could just take the controller box and plug that in as well. So if you got it well away from fire, don't use the extension cord. But you know what, if you're pretty close to fire and you want to be safe, use your extension cord. So what you want wanting to do when you fire this thing up, I got my extension cord here. We'll just plug it in. So if you got green power here, you got power to your module. So we're gonna get that plugged in to the system. Now once you plug this in, this is gonna start rolling. One thing about this, you can go faster or slower. You can't go off. So the only way to turn this unit off is to make sure that you unplug it. That's a safety deal to make sure that it's not left on top of your fire or left on to where it won't go. So it's always gonna roll, and you'll see over here when I show you here in a minute, it's always gonna roll fast or you can slow it way down, but there is no off. So keep that in mind. If you look for an off switch, there's not one. The only way to turn it off is to unplug it. All right, like I was saying before, these are spinning. They're not binding. Everything is put together properly. As you'll notice on these things that they spin, one spins one way, one spins the other. 
keeps your food away from each other. So they're spinning the opposite direction. That way they basically spin on top of each other. So that's right. So even if, even with it running, even with it running, you can pull it out, stick it back in, and just drop it in your holder again. No issues there, right? When you're done and you need a rest, this, this one at the top, if you don't like it up there because it bangs like I did, you can take that off or you can leave it up top and then when you got you just want to rest your skewer out of the way, you can put your skewers up there out of the way. All right guys, this was probably one of the easiest pieces that I've had to put together in a long time. Uh, does need a little bit of wipe down. As you can see, there are some, some packing, uh, packing pieces on it that need to be cleaned up before I put any food on it. But you know what? Very easy to do. A couple of things I did want to make sure that I pointed out one more time. First thing, that sticker cover on the El Charo paint here, make sure you remove that. Once you have heat to it, you guys aren't going to be able to get that off. These are adjustable. They have marks at the top. Make sure you adjust it for your grill. Same thing with these. These skewers are adjustable. All you have to do is undo that little set screw and move it to wherever you have it for you. Very easy to do. I can't wait to get the, some meat on these things and cook for you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to pop those in the comments below and if I can answer them, I'll answer them. If you wanna see some awesome cooks on one of these, we got some of those coming up. Or you can go to our, our friend Craig's behind the garage barbecue. He has a bunch of these cooks and Smoking Joe's barbecue also uses the El Charo as well. I'll leave links for their channels down below if you guys are interested in seeing these things at work. Awesome machine, can't wait to use it and hope to bring you guys along. See you guys next time.